Okay, let's start our demo today. Now I'm in the remote apps management screen in Azure portal. I'll just click on create a remote apps collection to start provisioning remote apps in my Azure subscriptions. The new remote apps creation wizard. First, I will select the regions, region search East Asia. Then that's names our remote apps demo cloud. Next, we will select from standard template images. There are three standard template images. Office 365 Pro Plus, Office Provisional 2013 with 30 days trial, Windows Server 2012 R2. So I'll just select like Office 365 Pro Plus for this demo so that we can migrate to production if we buy the subscriptions. Then I will click on Create Remote Apps Collection to send the jobs to Azure Scheduler. The provisioning will take about one hour so you can leave it you can take coffee and come back one hour later i will fast forward this video but just let explore a little bit on this page in this page you can view existing remote apps collections virtual networks or custom template images and if you click on remote apps collection names it will bring you to the details of the apps it will show the dashboard and many important information about the applications so for example if i click on demo cloud it will show that the provisioning will takes about one hour when it completes the status will change to active you can click on the remote apps names on top you will see the remote apps collection title demo clouds and below the title you can browse to the dashboards user access, publishing, sessions, and skill. I will cover that in other sessions. So today I will just let publish some applications. By default, the provisioning will publish the office applications. So I'll just want to show you how to publish the applications. Once we are done, you will see that we will have two icons for the same applications. Click on publish remote apps programs and the new window will appear and you can see and select from the available application to publish to your remote apps remember that this is not necessary in default image i just want to show you how to publish the applications once you satisfy your selections click ok and azure will prepare everything for us The next is we need to assign the users to our apps and the users must be registered to Azure Active Directory before we can add as remote app users. You can also assign Microsoft Live ID for your users but you must register the Live ID in Azure Active Directory. So I'll just type this at share with hotmail on microsoft.com. click on save okay now it's time to test our remote apps so we can select the remote apps client URL and just go to the dashboard see here the remote apps client URL copy and paste to your browser the page will detect your operating systems and provide with the correct remote apps versions which is matched to your operating systems just click on client applications install and launch once launched we can click on get started it will ask for the user's name and password so I'll just type the username and password that we have assigned before test and share with hotmail.com and the password 
since this is my first login for this users I will need to change the password so you just type the old password and type the new password click update and pa password and login so the apps will synchronize from the available remote apps that we have published will take some time voila so we can see that we have published Excel, Word, OneNote, etc. So we just click on the words. We launch the remote apps. So the protocol is a full uh, remote desktop, but it will not open the full desktop. But instead, it will open the application as as if it is has been installed locally. So I'll just continue to activate my Microsoft Word here. and that's it I can continue to use these applications in my local uh, desktops as if it's installed locally and I hope you enjoy the sessions and start to deploy the remote apps in your organizations see you next time bye